welcome to Medisa Camp, everybody. Uh, today's uh, the sixth day of our adventure, and it's Saturday, the 26th of March, 2022. Uh, it's just after midday, uh, 12 o'clock, 12.15, and we're just about to have lunch. What time do we get it, by the way? Take one. Hey, folks. Welcome back to Medisa Camp. Welcome back, no. Well, you did the intro. Oh, I thought that was doing something beforehand. Okay, so cancel Welcome that back to Medissa Camp. We've got quite an update to give you over the last 36 hours. Um, I'll try to do less talking. Bob will try to do more talking. Let's see how it goes. You can be the judge. Um, so yesterday morning, um, we were at Spitzkopper. Yep. Um, share with the audience, what did we get up to? Uh, nothing that's printable. Uh, no, actually, we uh, we got up early to photograph the sunrise that was coming over a specific part of uh, the Spitzkopper Mountain. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we misread our photo pills app, or it was wrong because the timing wasn't right. We uh, and we should have got up a little bit early. We did capture some shots, though, yeah, of the sunrise, but uh, we could have been a little bit more diligent. Um, Bob's photo pill seems to lack the acknowledgement of a two hour time difference. <laughs> anyway, we've got on top of that now, found the right settings, updated the phone. So we took some good photographs. Uh, we then headed down, had some breakfast. Uh, I think you knocked something together, didn't you? Definitely a lot of knocking. Uh, I think we had an egg banjo with two eggs, a two egg banjo, which is a couple of fried eggs uh, between two pieces of bread. Other people call it a fried egg sandwich. Um, yep, yeah, that was very good. And we started to pack up in the shade of the rocks, even though the sun was up about 7 a.m. Um, because of the shadow that we were within, we probably didn't see the sun until gone 11 o'clock. And I think we were off site by 10.30. Pretty so much. It was, it was pretty good. So we um, went to have showers and use the facilities because there's nothing near where our site was located it's about two kilometer drive back to reception no, more like four yeah more like four okay it's quite a trek um it's not walkable distance really not in that heat so anyway we uh, set off from Spitzkopper, hit the road um well the roads they were quite interesting to drive on weren't they in fact some of the roads were lacking elements <laughs> yes yes <laughs> So uh, as we mentioned before, uh, I've been here uh, before with my wife uh, about the same time, uh, just over two years ago. Uh, there the roads were fine, uh, an odd issue, but this time around, because it's the, still the end of the rainy season, they've had a lot of rain here, a lot of storms, and actually all the way up to as far as Wies, we'd, we had probably roads washed away in certain places, you had to take care going through some sandy bits and some sort of watery sandy river bits. Um, very challenging as a driver. You have to be uh, paying attention all the time. We were always paying attention. I don't think there are any dodgy issues from that regard. Um, however, part of our journey meant crossing Ugab River and, well, we found out that wasn't really possible, was it? Yeah, again to drag an old sandbag up. So back in November 2019, um, I went to the Ugab River specifically to, tele to photograph uh, does elephant, which, which are only about 200 in number total. And we just drove up and down probably 50 kilometers north and south of the river, and we found quite a lot of elephants. This time we found water and no elephant. And we looked at it and both decided, well, shall we, shan't we, shall we, shan't we? Had quite a debate. And then Nick decided, uh, well, Nick, the pop, why don't you just take your shots and shoes off and go and have a look and test the depth of the water. I would have happily done it, but Bob just wanted to get wet. Um, unfortunately, I need to remember this tip for next time, never stop the camera rolling because as Bob entered the water, he straddled across as far as he could go, did a fairly good job and came back and then he pondered upstream about 10, 15 meters and um, found a deep patch. Uh, he almost went <laughs> arse over yeah. tip, um, but he, he saved himself just in time, but it would have been a great one for you all to see. Nonetheless, uh, we, we came out a little bit muddier and decided the bank of about a metre drop between the road edge and the river itself was perhaps impassable. So we, we headed back a different way. Yes, yeah. Um, we forgot to mention about the Cactus Coffee Shop. Well, we're going to 
I have another video to share that with them and okay. lots of pictures. But uh, of course, we did have lovely coffee. And pancakes. Yep. Uh, good for your health, Nick, there's pancakes. Mine, mine were, lemon and sugar, can't <laughs> go wrong. All those calories in the caramel and banana variant that you added, you'll be in trouble. Um, yeah, so we, we headed uh, north, we had to detour um, around to where we needed to be. Instead of going through the Yugab River, uh, through a little small village called Soros Soros, we had to go north towards uh, Karakrixas, Kau I think it's called, Karakrixas. Um, and then we, uh, we actually had to go to at least two or three rivers that we weren't expecting to be fuller, but yep. we didn't have to take our shoes and socks off. No, we just flew through those in the vehicle, water everywhere, a bit of mud. We've got to make it look like we're actually driving uh, dangerously. Um, well, there were a little, there's a little car that went by us and it was going, no, 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 don't go there, don't go. But we're adventurers. We were bigger than he was. So yes, we, we hit the road really yesterday for about six and a half hours. And then we pitched up in Medissa camp. It's really a mixture of uh, art installation and campsites. Uh, a bit of an oasis in the desert here. Um, and we just learned from the barman or the reception manager he seems to have multiple hats what medissa meant well fill them in it means how are you and you have to answer something like they talk with a <coughs> in their voice you have to answer something like <coughs> so that means i'm fine yeah, that means i'm fine there you go can you do that again but clearly this time for the camera <coughs> kick <laughs> <laughs> more practice required. go on the web and look it up and then see what you think about it so we've got a, a lovely couple of tents underneath a sheltered, um, covered area, really. And uh, it has its own shower facility, normal flushing toilet, and a area to have a braai or the barbecue. And uh, it's been most comfortable so far. We spent the night um, within the tent, but much of the evening, in fact, was outdoors. Um, we were participating in uh, in a photographic session trying to capture the stars. How did it go? Reasonable. Uh, so we were actually trying to capture mostly, the, primarily, the Milky Way. It was there waiting for us, although it was very cloudy, so it was a bit of an issue with, it, with the pictures. The, the clouds didn't really disappear until 11, 11.30, and... Bob was on a mission to take this time lapse of the Milky Way progressing across the sky um, throughout the course of the night. And of course, that means staying up and taking hundreds, if not thousands, of photographs. Um, mm. Thankfully, his camera can take away some of that chore, and uh, he set it up to automatically handle that, but it still took him about two hours worth of playing to get the settings right. And uh, this morning, you were up early, weren't you, to uh, see how it went? Yeah, so um, I was a bit worried about leaving my camera and tripod out in the bush uh, unattended. Um, but we're, we're in the middle of nowhere, so there's, people are not going to steal your stuff. And we haven't seen any cheeky monkeys either. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> we can hear them, but we can't see them. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, I went about just after 5 o'clock, 5.30, and my camera just not long stopped, so it was... It took about five hours of shots. Um, I went every 20 something seconds. And my intention is that there's a some sort of uh, software you can buy, or just free as a freebie one too, that you can stitch all the single photographs together. So that's the thousand photographs we took. Um, and then that creates a small mini movie, mini video. So we're hoping to put that up uh, when we return and use the software, we can't do it on the road. Not so easily. Um, you know, we, we don't know if it's a success yet, but we did get, I did get 850, 60, 70 shots. It, it will take a lot of processing and a lot of power to do that. Um, I opted for focusing on the southern star almost and have the stars rotate around that. So less processing required on my front, but uh, watch out to see how they came out. So we had a comfortable night's sleep, got up, mm. you did your checking um, and then had some breakfast, uh, tried to knock up some poached eggs today, but in the smallest pan ever, wasn't that easy. Um, Bob had uh, decided we're gonna stock up on some muesli, so uh, 
also, and soy milk. And soy milk was lovely. Um, thoroughly, Nick, it was lovely. Thoroughly enjoyed that, Bob. You liar. Um, and then it was wash day, so Rob, Rob, Bob, Bob even started scrubbing um, all of his undies and um, then took up the washing line. So yes. uh, I, I thought I'd wash a few things afterwards and just ran around outside waving them around because it was in this heat, things dry so quickly. Um, we've had pretty leisurely morning really, not done a great deal other than those chores, which aren't really chores in this climate. Uh, it's all enjoyable and uh, popped to the central area of the Medissa camp to see who's around, see what we can find out we might want Have to some do. lunch. And uh, yeah, liquid lunch <laughs> today and um, decide what we're going to do next. So. We'd be very pleased to hear your thoughts, comments, observations. Maybe you could tell us what to do whilst we're here. Um, put the comments um, within the YouTube video, perhaps, or upload them to the website, send an email, something like that, when we are back online, which hopefully will be maybe tomorrow evening. Uh, we may have some connectivity. Cow Rib Lodge campsite, hopefully. Unless we find a coffee shop en route, something like that, that also has Wi-Fi. Um, but bear in mind, we are in much more remote areas now. Connectivity is uh, virtually non-existent. A lot of them resort to shortwave radio to communicate with the outside world. Anything else you think we should add? No, I think that's it. Oh, we've got a big bride coming tonight. There's a, you can show them on the photograph when you pan. There's a bright area. In fact, just down here, you can't really tell at the moment, but... Uh, We'll put some other photos in with uh, this update just so you can get an idea of what the place is like and uh, see where we'll be this evening. So that's all from him. And, and all from him. There you go. And we'll see you soon.